Belly Sandwich Shop CEO, Owen Lewis with us right now. Owen, good to have you. Thank you, Neil. How are you doing? Uh, good. Did you or relay your support of a candidate to, to any of your workers? Oh, of course not. Politics is personal, and uh, we're here just to help sell sandwiches and keep our customers happy and uh, to keep our employees happy. So uh, we're not in the business of telling people what to do with their uh, personal vote. We, we love America, and we, we want the uh, next president to be very successful. And you, you found out, I guess, Republicans and Democrats both eat, so there is something to say to that. But this Grubhub dude is over the top um, by, by essentially saying that those who supported Donald Trump must have supported his nationalistic policies and all this other stuff, and as such weren't welcome there. Now, he dialed that back later saying, oh, that's not what I meant. You, you've, you've heard all of this. Uh, but he got himself in trouble in the first place by just discussing it, right? Yeah, it's not something we would ever do. Again, it's personal. Um, and you want people to exercise their, their right to vote. We're all Americans. And whatever decision happens, you wish the best for uh, the nation and the candidate. But, you know, my messages are all on our culture satisfying our customers and ensuring that we're serving our product uh, the way we want it. So we um, would never think about doing something like that. You know, there are some industries where you can kind of know where the, the chiefs are coming from. I noticed, for example, in the coal industry, uh, not big fans of Democrats. The high tech, Silicon Valley, not big fans of Republicans. Uh, I, I guess in your industry, it could be a little bit more divided. but. Um, how is that and why is it? For example, in the technology world, I know not exactly your world, but it's almost monolithic. Uh, in the energy world, traditional energy, uh, almost monolithic Republican. Why is that? Oh, my goodness. I'm a sandwich maker. <laughs> I'm not going to get into that. of me trying to corner you and you didn't take it. Yeah, yeah. No, I'll talk about potbelly all you want. <laughs> all right. Since the election, we're told that throughout this whole process, a lot of people weren't eating right, um, was bumming them out. Did you see any of that? Well, listen, the, the consumers for us caught a cold around April. And, uh, you know, we had a great first quarter, uh, strong, strong growth in the business, same store sales. And the customers start sitting there in their wallets around April, and that, that has extended through the election. Some folks have said it was a function of the election. We don't really know that. The, the one, the one uh, you know, stat we look at is uh, the cost of eating out and the cost of uh, eating at home. And uh, the customers are getting a real bargain with uh, supermarket prices to stay. Hmm. So it puts a ton of pressure on us. But, uh, you know, we, you want to you win and no matter what, but we are facing headwinds. And we think about things that we can do to grow our business and to keep our customers coming back more and more. Uh, you know, we've been working on a, a new app that uh, will roll out early next year that will have the best-in-class features of pay, uh, uh, location, uh, ease of ordering. Uh, we, right. we continue to build 10% uh, new units a year, and one of the, one of the things we, we kind of stumbled upon two years ago with drive-thrus, you know, fast casual kind of built on non-drive-thrus, but uh, about 10% yeah, of our fleet. That. Yeah. 10% of our fleet by the end of this year be drive throughs and we, we love them. They're about 10% uh, ex more expensive, but it's about 20%, 30% more in sales. Well, so you could those are the type Donald of things Trump we're working on. Maybe with the motorcade going right through one of your drive throughs that would be kind of cool, you know, one way or the other. We would, we would not charge him for his meal, I guarantee you. Really? Okay. Uh, Alman Lewis, thank you very, very much. Pot Valley Sandwich Shop CEO.